Uh, hello, here's uh, Peter Bos talking. Um, I've got a Thingomatic, and um, they've got a nice uh, uh, interface uh, for controlling uh, uh, the Thingomatic uh, all standalone. Um, uh, the set costs about uh, 90 euros. Um, but I thought I could do it myself because they have all the plans up on Thingiverse, so I was uh, looking into that. Um, so, got myself a uh, small LCD display and um, breadboard with loads of wires, cable connected to the motherboard of the Thingomatic, and uh, I tried to hook it up. Uh, well, it, I thought it would be pretty straightforward, so I tried to uh, hook hook it up uh, only hook up only the display, um, but it didn't work. I just uh, just uh, got two. Uh, horizontal bars and uh, nothing really happened uh, so uh, what I tried next was uh, well maybe it has something to do with the startup uh, sequence and actually it does because it checks uh, several things um, uh, among other uh, the, the foo bar <laughs> has to be uh, high and uh, that's something uh, that's accomplished uh, with a small LED which you can see over here and uh, with the help uh, of that one uh, it checks if uh, if there's an uh, uh, interface connected or not and it also has to go to the startup routine of the uh, whole MakerBot itself so to make it work it has to be hooked up to the MakerBot so um, so I hooked up a little bit more uh, uh, the full uh, connection is now connected I hooked up uh, some little buttons and it, it seemed to function so um, I can uh, step to the menu quite nicely and it all seems to work so let's uh, go to the monitor and select that one and amazingly it shows the correct information. So I'm quite happy about it. Uh, now I have to um, make a little um, experimental print so I can make a more permanent version. But uh, so far so good. And I have to be quite honest, it's just more fun this way. And you get uh, to know the machine a little bit better. So, um, well, that was it. <laughs> uh, bye bye.